See this jacket? Oh, ho, ho, it got down to 54 degrees last night. Do, 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 do. 54 degrees. Sun is trying to come out. It's a little bit slow today. We got a little fog this morning, so now we're waiting for the fog to burn off. My little critter, critter tried to grab my coat. So right now I'm in between. Do you put the sweatshirt on? Do you leave it off and shiver? Do you put it on and feel warm? Take it off and feel chittered? And then by the time you put it on, the sun pops out and then it feels good off. It's one of them days. But we're gonna go get the combine fueled up. Cooper took off with the bat wing mower, so he's down mowing around some waterways and stuff, trying to make the fields look nice. Not too bad out, but God, I just can't say it or know it or feel it. So I'm gonna put my sweatshirt on and I was just thinking to myself, one of these days, and I hope at least four weeks away or better, the nights might start getting really cool when we're in the field. I need to dig my stocking cap out. I don't know, I just, I'm a stocking cap person. When it gets chilly out or a little bit brisk, I like my stocking cap. But we're gonna jump on the fuel trailer here. <laughs> we're not really gonna jump on it, but we're gonna put some fuel in the combine we're kind of hoping here in the next maybe 30 minutes the beans will go. I think they will. The pods are starting to... It's amazing once the sun comes out how quick things dry up. Hi Ellie. Hi girl. Hi girl. Ah. This is where the Thunder Creek trailer comes in real handy. You know, time you pump a couple hundred gallons in a combine and a couple hundred gallons in a tractor, you go through 400 gallons real quick. The Thunder Creek here, it holds 990 gallons. So it just makes it nice when you go out in the field, you got fuel with you and it's real handy. Real handy. Oh. And I forgot to bring a, hey, 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 there's paper towel in here. This is one thing I really like about this fuel trailer. It's got electric start and everything. And then with the electric start and everything, it does have little solar panels on top to keep the battery fully charged. I do hold the hose down. I've had it happen too many times to me and it's kind of embarrassing. I walk away. I think the hose is going to stay in. And then all at once, plop, falls out. Little Ellie's trying to climb the ladder to get up here to me. This does have its own shut off too, so when the fuel is full, it'll automatically click, click off. Another thing I like about this fuel trailer too, you can rewind up the reel. Right now I'm having a little troubles. I don't know if it's really troubles, but with a drive over conveyor, it's running kind of slow for some reason. But it doesn't seem like it's slipping. So I don't know if it's something going on with the tractor. But looking at the gap here, it's going kind of slow. I messed with the valve to uh, change the flow a little bit. Now the guy that usually works on this, his name's Kevin. I just sent him a message. I know he'll get it figured out. He is really, really good with this stuff. Hi right, Kevin, normally this belt is going really fast, a nice speed, but everything is going slower today. Well guys, it's about, oh look at that, Heinz ketchup smashed all over there. There's a bunch of ants all over it, so I'm going to leave it there tonight. We'll take it to the garbage tomorrow, but it's about 10 o'clock, I think, I know. Hold on. We're going to call it a night for beaning. We'll start a new day tomorrow. Let's go get some sleep. I'm getting hungry actually first. So I'm going to eat, take a shower, brush my teeth, floss, probably floss before I brush my teeth, and then go to bed. So good night, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow. Looks like little Ellie's coming up on top of the bin with me. I just had to open the lid up there, and I come down the ladder here to the platform looking down to the ground and who do i see on the ladder is little ellie are you ready to go back down girl we'll head down that way we gotta go back down the stairs bud otherwise i gotta go over you uh, can i go over you gotta stay up there by yourself or are you coming down bud come on ellie we're putting the agi westfield 13 inch auger up to our bean bin 
This bin holds approximately 32,000 bushels. So we're getting all that set up and different things we were looking for this morning. Where did we put that? Where did we put that? So we've been kind of running around lost half the morning. Now Cole's bringing the little conveyor back here. I don't know if you can see it back here somewhere. Everything's backwards with the finger, but he's coming along with a skid loader and the little drive over conveyor belt that we can drive the semis over, boom. In the auger we go, up the auger we go, into the bin. And as I'm talking to you guys, we better make sure the bin doors are shut inside the bin. I don't know if any of you guys have done it. I can say I haven't done it, but I have done it. Forgot to close the inside doors on the bin and you get so much corn on it or beans and like, oh no, it can be a mess. So I'm gonna make sure we got the inside door shut. All right, we are bringing the Batco. This is kind of a cool little machine and I'll show you how this works, but we'll be able to drive over this. This is a sweet little machine. Need to run the semi over the little pit back there and make sure everything's working. So I thought, well, I'm waiting for coal to get back for some hydraulic hoses. I haven't put fuel in this truck yet and it's kind of low. Might as well go ahead and fill it up. Cooper brought me a windy sandwich today and they got all them seeds on the bun i forgot my floss today why is it when you have floss with you you don't get anything in your teeth in the day you don't have floss i get seeds in my teeth and why is it once you know you got something in your teeth it absolutely drives you crazy but if i have to i'm gonna have to dig in my wallet pull out a moldy credit card scrape it between my teeth get that crud out and then I left my brand new toothbrush. Yeah, I might have a toothbrush. I might have a toothbrush in that little tiny house up there. I didn't think about that. When working with diesel fuel, you get it on your fingers. You get an itch on your eyes. Mind, remember to remind me, don't rub your eyes. It burns. Wasn't thinking. Now my eyes are watery. Got the little sidekick up there watching us. Ah, oh, man, my eyes. It was like I almost put an onion inside of them. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. We're just, just, just about ready. But you know, it seems like that first day when you're getting beans and you think you're getting things ready, it's always some little things you find that take longer than what you expect. Getting things hooked up and then we are going to be ready to roll. Well, we're out here in the bean field getting the bean head on. So hopefully if things go good in the next four hours, Hopefully in the next half hour we'll be running. Cole's getting the machine on now, the head, and then we hopefully adjust a few things and we can start running. It's kind of getting a little bluish out. We did get a few raindrops, so hopefully it doesn't bother us. Waiting for Cole here. We're waiting for Cole. Come on, Cole, let's get moving. We want to get some beans done. I want to have the honor of saying we are started doing beans. All right, I better go help Cole. Just filling you in what we're doing. What we're doing, we're waiting. We're waiting to get going. And beans are a little dusty. Now what are we doing? Oh, I have to walk. Let the dust blow by me and then walk over there. Ah, oh, I need goggles. Tonight, I'm gonna need a spade to get all the dirt out of my nose. Ah. One thing about bean dust, it's just fine. It's almost like sandpaper. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's kind of miserable. And it just floats around and it gets on you. And when you're working on the machine or something and it falls on you, it's itchy. If any of you need me to send you some bean dust so you can put it on your hands and blow it at your partner or something and say, hey, now we can see what Daddy Cornstar is talking about. Looks like Cole's up there kind of checking out some beans, checking out the samples. First little while, it just takes a while to get everything adjusted. You can see the clouds and everything tonight. I have a feeling once the sun starts to go down, it's gonna get dewy real quick and boom we'll have to quit as soon as the dew gets because the pods they won't break open and then the beans won't shoot out the beans would shoot out the back they won't break all the pods into the machine 